<laughs> oh my god, I can't. Okay, and my veins popping out of my head because my my son and my husband are making me laugh way too much on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I figured I'd share my awesomeness with you guys on Valentine's Day. Um, okay, so first and foremost, let's tell you about what happened with Peter's Valentine's Day cards, okay? So we had to get Peter's Valentine's Day cards super late last night. Shh, don't tell him that we didn't get them in time. Anyways, so we got them. And so I, I drive to Publix. It's like nine o'clock at night because I left super, super late to work. You know, obviously I told you guys that I was having a super stressful day. It was long, whatever. So I go to Publix. Hi, David. I tell John that they're going to be all out of these cards, right? I'm like, John, they're going to be totally sold out. It's Publix. Everybody goes to fucking Publix. Yeah, they're all going to be sold out. No, babe, go, go, go. They're going to not be sold out. There's uh, definitely going to be. I said Walgreens. They're definitely going to have stuff at Publix. That's what he said. So, walk into Publix. I had to park the car, get out, lock it. This is all things that I had to do, okay? So, lock it, walk inside, go inside. I'm like, hey, I'm looking around. I go, you know, where's the section with all the children's stuff? And they're like, oh, it's all gone. So, at that time, I pick up the phone. I call John, and I'm like, dude everything gone. I'm like, you have to go and get this. I'm like, I'm not driving to the next place to go get this thing. What up, Craig? I'm telling um, my little story about last night. So I sent John, of all people, I sent John to go and get Peter's cards with the candy. John comes home. John has a box of cards. I asked John, I go, hey, listen. I'm like, where's the box of candy that goes with the cards? And he's like, well, I didn't get any candy. I'm like, what do you mean you didn't get any candy? I'm like, there has to be candy that goes with, like, the cards. I'm like, it's a Valentine's Day. Like, the, the, the exchange. You don't just give away a card. Nobody wants a card. They want a card with candy. And he's like, well, I didn't get it. What's up, Craig? This is John for you, okay? So, he, he's like, oh, well, well, they're just not going to get it. So, I'm like, okay, well, now I better go dig in my closet and figure out what kind of candy gummies or whatever I'm going to send to this, you know, to this kid's thing. So I go on to his thing and I count how many kids there are. And there's 24 kids. And I'm like, all right, so what do I have 24 of that I can send to the school that is individually wrapped for these children? So the only thing I had 24 plus of was popcorn because I love popcorn. And I'm not going to run out of popcorn because I love popcorn. So... I sent the children popcorn for Valentine's Day, and they loved it. How awesome is that? See, so I'm smart, okay? Peter said that they liked it. Everybody's going to go home and pop the popcorn, and they're going to have a great movie with their mom and dad, right? right. Peter, they loved it, right? Only six of them hated hey, it. Only six people of the 24 children, 23 minus Peter. I made that, mis wait, wait, I made that mistake like, last wait. night. Peter wants to get on my live. I love yeah. you too, David. Don't say anything stupid. I won't. Well, can I say drugs? No. Fine. It was like these people were like, it, like when I gave it to them, they're like, what's this? Look what you have, oh, look, it's skin. not Skittles. It's not M&M's. It's popcorn. Yay. <laughs> John's looking at me like I'm crazy. David, no, it wasn't kettle corn. That's freaking disgusting. It was the nature's popcorn, because nature's popcorn is the absolute best. So, anyways. Orville Renbachers. Orville Renbachers. Mm. So, anyways, that means I'm out of popcorn. I better order Instacart, because I only have one popcorn left. And he's going to go eat my last popcorn. Awesome. Anyways, I wanted to say happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Um, I also had one more thing to vent about before I get off this thing, okay? So, I come to find out yesterday... Because my child has been sick. So I'm like, you know, I don't really think anything of it. You know, I didn't uh, to put two to two together. So our neighbors, there's, we have some awesome neighbors. Um, their kids actually started at the school that my kid goes to. And so one of the kids is end up in my kid's class. Long story short, she texted me yesterday and she's like, so I think I figured out why Peter's getting sick. And I'm like, really? Well, tell me because I'm getting sick. John's getting sick. 
and we're getting all our employees sick, then half my employees have to go home and then have a stressful day. Mm. Okay. Or vice versa. Then I have a stressful day. That's all that matters, right? So, come to find out that this teacher of Peter's was, I mean, because I don't know any other place that, like, sells individual Smarties. Correct me if I'm wrong. Just please correct me. All I know from my childhood is that Smarties come in packs of 10. They're, like, twisted, like this. Yeah? Comes in packs of 10. So this teacher must have unwrapped all of these and threw them into a jar, like hundreds of them. And when children would get an answer right on the board, like a math problem or whatever, they get a candy. Okay. Good for them. They get a candy. Bad for us. Okay. That these little grimy little hands are all being stuck in the same jar. That is absolutely disgusting. Tell me that is not the most disgusting thing you have ever heard in your life. All these grimy little children's hands all going into the jar. Peter didn't really comprehend what I was trying to tell him last night when I found this out because she told me, isn't that gross, David? It's so gross. It's so gross. It's so gross. Okay. So I was like, why does the teacher like, I mean, I mean, I'll sponsor the Smarties for the rest of the year. I will buy, I will go to Sam's Club and buy individual wrapped Smarties for all the children all year and reward them all year for the Smarties for whatever they want. I'll spend hundreds of dollars. I don't care. Just don't put your hand in a jar with multiple children's dirty little grimy little hands all in one little jar. Ew. Anyways. Okay, so I was trying to tell Peter, and he's like super like blinded by the fact that I'm like, dude, think about it. Okay, grimy little child goes to the bathroom. Grimy little child doesn't wash his grimy little hands. Then grimy little child wins an award for spelling a word right. Awesome. Good for you. Grimy little child sticks his little hand in the jar. Grimy little germs. You're the next one to win the award. You now have his grimy little germs. Ew! Now he brings them home to us! Yucky! Okay. So, I wrote the teacher today. Uh, no, my child washes his hands, okay, Justin? Okay? I don't know about all the rest of the children or if they know how to wipe their ass. Not my problem. All I know is grimy little hands all in one little jar. Not cute, okay? So, anyways, I happen to write the teacher... Okay, because I mean, I mean, if I find that out, I mean, I'm gonna write the teacher. I didn't, I wasn't mean, I was nice. And I'm like, oh my god, you're an amazing teacher. I had to start it with that. <laughs> and I was like, I just, I, I do request, because I did find out that there's a big jar of candy that's given out to the children when they, they get a reward. And um, I do request that Peter no longer gets the jar of candy. I don't want his hands in the jar of candy. He's been sick for multiple weeks at a row. And this is probably why he's sick. Because there's grimy little children's hands all going into the same jar, touching the little candies, and they're all eating each other's germs. It's disgusting. That's gross. Justin, what do you mean big deal? Okay, I'm going to have Justin, I'm going to have you wipe your butt, and then you're going to go talk to the next person, and you can share hamburgers, and then we'll talk. See if they want you to touch their eyes. And then touch their eye. Okay? <laughs> And then we'll talk about conjunctivitis. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> and you are an eye doctor of all people, Justin. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm sorry. I had to bring that up because it's really funny. So I wrote the teacher an email. Okay, this is after my neighbor already wrote the teacher an email yesterday. Okay, now all of a sudden the new kid in class brings up that there's a Smarties jar that everybody is sticking their hands in, sharing their grimy little germs, and now there's another parent that's jumping in to the email saying like, hey, listen, I don't want my kids' hands in the jar. So apparently today, this is what she texts me anyway, apparently today she made an announcement and said, well, you know, I want to let all the kids know that, you know, there's a lot of, a lot, a lot of sickness going on, so unfortunately you guys are not going to be able to get the Smarties anymore. That is not okay. I think the right thing to do would be, think about it, okay? She doesn't want to give them, I love you too, David. She doesn't want to give them the 10 
candy smarty thing because it's too many candies, okay? Well, there's more than one way to skin a cat, correct? Okay, so why not buy a bag of Starbursts? It's a small little candy this big. It's individually wrapped. They can stick their hand in a jar and grab, like, grab their own little grimy candy. Not sharing the grimy little germs. Right? That's right. So, I have a point. I promise. So, you ruined it for everybody. Yes. Justin, I ruined it for all of tw the 24 children in the class. So, I'm sure all 24 children are going to hate me. I'm okay with that. Because the children and the parents... And all the people surrounded by the parents are going to be so excited that they're not going to be sick every single week. Yep. Thanks to my neighbor, a.k.a. thanks to me. Okay, I'll take full credit. Starbursts are better anyway. Exactly, Craig. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so this is what I've been dealing with for the past 24 hours. My Valentine's Day was awesome, by the way. Just saying. But... This is what I've been dealing with for the past 24 hours. I didn't know that, I mean, like, who the frick would put all the candies into a jar and you pick it out? That's so gross. That is so gross. I won't even share, like, a bowl of popcorn with somebody because I'm, like, super, like, ew. Okay, so, call it bad, call it mean, call it whatever you want. Um, but, yeah, that's the story of my life. <laughs> Huh? For today. For today. For today. Um, I do have another story, but I'm going to save it for another day. It's a good story. Mm -hmm. And if I talk about it right now, it won't be good because, you know, when you talk about something and you have lots of emotions rolling through you about it, or you might feel too strongly about it, you might just not censor anything you say. Do tell us. David says to tell us. If your son was on Titan Complete. Bullshit. Listen, Justin, okay? My son is not going to take Titan Complete so he can stick his hand in a dirty-ass little grimy little children's little sharing little jar, okay? Not happening, okay? We're not doing that. What's up, Brandy? Hi, Heather. So tell him? Anyways. David, you make me want to say it so bad. I won't say it. I won't say it. I'm going to hold it in, even though I really, 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 really want to tell you guys. Um, okay, so I'm not going to say what it is. All I'm going to, ja, 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 what's up, Ralph? Um, I'm just simply going to say that there are, I'm just going to make a general, how about I make a general statement, okay? And then I'll talk to you guys about it on another day when I'm not so emotionally attached to this. We have an HRT clinic, okay? Hormone Replacement Therapy Center. And we have worked incredibly hard for our reputation, try to do everything by the book, never play in any gray areas, mm. never play in any sandboxes, always do everything. It's right or it's wrong. And if it's wrong, we are not doing it. And that's how we have always done things. I don't care how much money was involved. I don't care who the patient was. I don't care if you're my best friend. I don't care if you're my brother, my family. I don't care. Okay. So. For people out there who might not be doing things correctly, it doesn't make a good name for people like me and John and all the rest of my people that have busting our ass for our reputation around town, okay? It doesn't, it's not good. It's just not good to do things that, that's not legal, mm -hmm. right? John? Or hurting, or possibly hurting people. I think the bigger part of this is that ultimately, if you're not getting something from like an actual pharmacy where you can verify that it's a, a, a like an actual, they went through sterility and potency testing with a lot number and expiration date and it's verified and it was dispensed on this date by this person, da 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 da, then maybe, maybe it didn't come from a pharmacy. Mm hmm. Maybe it came from somewhere else. That's not a pharmacy. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Maybe legal in the U.S. or Mexico. Justin, this happened today. 
And you know what? I'm not happy about it. And the reason I'm not happy about it is because the person that happened to, I don't even know, okay? I don't even know this person. All I know is that this particular individual went to a clinic and got a prescription, got a medication, wait, got a drug. Let's backtrack that a little bit. Got a drug, but the, the crazy thing is you know, if somebody's on hormone replacement and they want to come to us, we verify their prescription at the pharmacy, okay? So we can say, okay, you're taking this dose of this day, whatever, whatever. This is when it's is dispensed. This is how many refills you got. They will let me line it all up for you. And then we can take over the therapy. No problem. But if we can't verify it through a pharmacy, then you must be getting it from your neighbor's bathtub or sink or kitchen or garage. <laughs> so that's where I'm getting with this. Okay. Um, so it just, um, it, it's, it's a little disheartening. It's a little disheartening. Not seeing doctors making phone calls. <sighs> Not seeing a doctor, you know, um, people that don't like, <sighs> it's just, ugh. I feel really strongly about this. So I probably shouldn't talk about this right now because it really makes me upset. And when I'm upset about something, I'm sure you guys already know that I'm like super, super like involved in what I'm saying. And I'm um, very, very like, yeah. So I don't hold anything back. I understand David, but you know what sucks though, dude? Listen, straight up. It sucks because there's only so much I can do. Yeah, I can't save every person on the planet. But it's shitty though, because there's people out there that are doing this to other people that have blind faith that are going to the clinic being like, oh, you're a doctor. I'll just listen to you. That's messed up. They don't even know they're not doctors. That's messed up. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to say anything else. I'll leave it at that tonight. That's all. Okay. We'll go back to the, gram the grimy children hands. Please make sure your children are not sharing jars in the class and taking individual candies because it's gross. Okay. Popcorn for children on Valentine's Day are much, much, much better than candy. What movie, what movie I saw today? Happy Death Day 2. It was all right. John fell asleep through half the movie, but he won't, it. He won't admit it. What? No, I didn't. Yes, he did. No, I did not. Do not listen to Sharice. I was up. She's sitting there eating whatever, <laughs> just sitting there. and I'm, I'm, I didn't have shit to eat. I'm, I had a margarita. Oh, oh, that's what it was. I'm something. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I heard snoring like twice. No. That's fine. It's fine. No. I accept him. No, I know he's breathing, tired. He's breathing hard. He's it's excited. okay. He stayed awake for dinner. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> oh my God. David says, hey, hey, handsome. What up, David? David, oh my God. Look real quick. Since I have you on this thing. I know this is like super personal, random, and it doesn't pertain to anyone else. Okay, so really, I've just been busy as shit today, so I'm sorry. But look. I got them. Now, I don't know how to do it or what to do with it. I did open my bag today. These are skins that David got me for my ear pods because it's blue and I love Titan blue. So, I'm going to figure out how to put those on. David's going to text me when we get off of this and tell me exactly how to put them on so I don't screw up my ear pods. I'll be really pissed off. Okay. Um, so, anyways, thank you, David. I love you and um, I can't wait to use it. And can't wait to use my awesome hair stuff. The best hair stuff on the planet. I couldn't have this beautiful, luxurious hair without my Titan Hair Health Capsules and my David Hensley Laid Brand Spray. Shit. Yes. I better show it now. Hold on. Show, or he's going to kill me. See? Don't talk about it. Be about it. Look. Okay? Make sure you contact David Hensley because this is the best stuff ever. If not, your hair is going to look like total shit. Okay, so I'm done for the night. <laughs> Hi, Brandy. Holla. Okay, everybody say bye to John. Bye. <laughs> He's wearing red to support Valentine's Day, of course. Thank you all for letting me vent today. It was amazing. Um, I'm really happy I was able to hold myself back on some of the things that I feel about today. And I'll talk about it on a different day in about 24 to 48 hours when I cool down. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody have a good night. Clay, I did get your text message, and guess what? 
I will be making sure that we send you out some good stuff. I made sure to tell the girls to let you know that I need to check with John because I think there was like some sort of whatever. Anyways, so yeah, just want to let you know. Bye, Ralph. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.